This is Twit. I'm a little miffed with T-Mobile. Uh, maybe they, <laughs> maybe there, maybe there's. Why, a, Leo? I'm just a little miffed. Well, you know, Apple announced this really great uh, thing called Private Relay, right? It's basically kind of a little bit like a VPN uh, that you can use in your smartphone with your iPhone. It's kind of automatically on if you're an iCloud subscriber. You I, get it, isn't it? I think it's automatically available. I, th I think the user has to turn it on. It's not on by correct. default. In beta, in beta right. it's not on by default. No. Once it's and public, you just subscribe to iCloud be. Plus to get it. iCloud yep. Plus, not just any iCloud Which is the account. Extra storage. But you, yeah, yeah. So, but you, if you're paying for iCloud, then you have yes. it, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and I get since I use Apple One, I'm getting it. Um, yes. T-Mobile is blocking it. <laughs> They're going to start Along blocking with it. O2 and a whole bunch. A lot of, of European other. carriers as well. Right. Now they're saying it, it, the reason we block it, customers who choose plans and features with content filtering, for instance, parent, parental controls, do not have access to the iCloud private relay because these services won't work otherwise. To, if, if you want them to work as designed, you can't use relay, but or, all you know, other customers right? have no restrictions. <laughs> so if you have content filtering... I don't have content filtering. It's not, but that's not what they're. I mean, that's you know, it's silly, as as you know. I mean, it's it's because they don't. There's two things. One they is they're selling your on data. You. Yeah. Well, they're selling your data at in mass. And number two is they packet shape. So they want to be able to to force you down to um, a different. Uh, like for instance, if you open up a, a video app, they want to make sure that you're forced on the manifest down to a 480p signal, not the highest res that's available to you because that would use their network you know, harder. And so, so the, there's a little bit of an argument for the packet shaping thing that they do, but not really. I mean, they, you're, you're paying for that connection. So you should be able to get what you want to get. Um, the content filtering is obviously a red herring. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. There's, uh, I'm, I'm kind of sorry that T-Mobile got lumped into what a lot of the international carriers are doing. The international characters, characters, carriers are simply saying, we want, we want no part of this for the reasons that we've discussed that we, we make a lot of revenue and we can have, we can make a lot more profits if we have absolute access to, uh, to your traffic. Right. Uh, however, T-Mobile, they did quickly clarify that we're not shutting it down for everybody. We're shut. They, they, I, I, until somebody uh, who has more knowledge about this, uh, about how T-Mobile packages these services can explain to me how those services work. I'm willing to at least give them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt because they're not, they're not shutting it down on everybody. They're saying, if you have these services that kind of require us to take a look at what your traffic is so that we can, at your request, block content that you don't want to, that you don't want to, to, to find its way to your phone, that's legitimate. I mean, even Wikipedia, uh, after the uh, after the service was announced, was saying that okay, we're gonna have to ask people how they feel about this because we're using IP identification as a way of valid validating that the person, the editor who's trying to edit or manage this uh, one of these Wikipedia pages, is who they say we they are because we recognize this IP address. If you're hiding your IP address, we can't validate that. So we are considering forcing people to turn that feature off if they can want to continue to edit certain pages. It's it's gonna it's causing certain knock on effects. So it's not as though every time there is a restriction on a service or, or, or provider decides to restrict access or use of the service, it's necessarily them being scummy. However, they do have to, I think the every service that does this has to demonstrate that, no, there is an actual legitimate, verifiable, technical reason why we think that this service causes a problem for certain products that we're creating. But again, mostly it is going to be, we want to manage our network our own way, which is limited, kind of neutral evil, because there is a, there is an argument that we want to be able to shape, to, to have you not stream necessarily 4K on your phone if you don't, if you don't have to, uh, but mostly again, to prevent them from trying to profiteer when you can just simply flip a switch on your iPhone and lock out a lot of what's, uh, what's possible there. If they, yeah, if and, they're and, not letting you do a VPN. In fact, I have to update do. this because uh, as yeah, the show... Yeah, it's a bug. Yeah, Mark Gurman just tweeted uh, about uh, 45 minutes ago. Uh, overnight, our team identified... This is a T-Mobile response to Mark Gurman. Overnight, our team identified that in the iOS 15.2 release, some device settings default to the feature being toggled off We've shared this with Apple. This is not specific yeah. to T-Mobile. Again, though, we have not broadly blocked iCloud Private. They they say iCloud is uh, relay private relay is only blocked if you have turned on content filtering. Otherwise, yeah. it should not be turned off. So and that that's does good. make sense. And the Europeans are on on the other hand, they're doing it. <laughs> yeah. And well, and yeah. I have to point they're out, T-Mobile is Deutsche Telekom, so right. uh, they are in Europe as well, and I think they are doing it in mm -hmm. Europe. So. 
I don't, yeah. I also turn it off myself sometimes. Like if I'm uploading a big file, sometimes it's just taking forever. I turn off private relay because that relay has extra whatever roadblocks in the Headroom. way and it just goes I guess it's faster, important. So. It is important to offs. note that it's not perfect. That it, there's a good reason Apple yeah. puts it's like a VPN. Beta. I yeah. have the same issue. I mean, it's basically VPN. easy. Yeah. It's just easy VPN. Like it just that's right. what they should call it. Easy PP, VPN. Not quite. Like but just, yeah. Well, they don't because I mean, you can't you can't uh, tie. What is it? Uh, look, geo hop. Like you can for some yeah, VPNs. Can't to get, block like, geo location. Netflix, mm -hmm. In yeah. fact, it, at least right. it does country, uh, and you can say. And in fact, I have allow it to be a little more specific. Like it knows I'm in Petaluma. For but, Uber Eats, right? Like, you want your Starbucks. You don't yeah. want Starbucks to go to Boston. You yeah. want Starbucks to come yeah, to you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there are there are always going to be a little bit of uh, some drawbacks using a VPN, and so uh, those are I guess biting uh, Apple a little bit. Uh, but, but I think that with with all of these, what we're seeing, is, you know, Apple will put it up, and then people will react to it, and then Apple will tighten it a little bit. And what you're I think you're constantly seeing is Apple constantly looking at privacy and not necessarily you know again closing all the gates at one time, but they're just slowly just moving the gates, you know, right. very very slowly. I and love it. Th this is all part of a bigger program yeah. of of app transparency, yeah, sure, it's not doesn't have a lot of teeth yet. But if you start com if you start looking at all of these as as a unified process, what you're seeing is Apple slowly closing everything in, you know, and making it um, more and more private and, and harder and more and more opaque to yeah. you know advertisers and everyone yeah. tracking us. Yeah. But but it it does it does show how difficult this process is going to be if uh, if it starts if people start using this feature and it's, and things stop breaking if the things that they're counting on using stop working that's not a result that that Apple wants if suddenly Facebook will not log them in automatically if the Facebook says ooh we don't you're logging in from a brand new IP address therefore we we're going to demand two factor authentication right now to make sure that you are who you say you are that's going to be a reason for a lot of people to say you know what I'm going to turn this feature off and I don't have a need to turn it on ever again. So uh, sure. I think there's a reason why this is an extended beta. Uh, I don't think they're necessarily having trouble implementing it. I think they're having trouble making sure that people will turn that on, get the benefits of it, and not find a good reason to turn it off. Well, and, and and every one of these becomes kind of a chicken, you know, <laughs> you know, a game of chicken where you basically decide, you know, oh, I can't use this service. Do I care about my security and privacy and I'm just not going to use that service anymore. In some cases like Facebook, someone might not choose that, but they might choose it. Like for instance, when, and when things start, you go, you might choose those services over the privacy, but as things move forward, you know, when I, when I started to, when Apple pay came out, I, I prioritized places obviously that, um, uh, that had Apple pay, you know, I just was like, cool. It was something I wanted to test and, but I still pay in a lot of other places. At this point, if I go to a re retail place and they don't have Apple Pay, I just set the objects down and leave. Like literally, I don't even take them back. I just leave them on the counter. Like you should do that, then I and I walk out. <laughs> like you know, and so um, you know, the only place I'll pay for anything without Apple Pay is the farmers market. You know, and and so um, and so that's so I think that again, these are progressions of things that that happen over years, and so this is just step one. They'll, and they'll and they'll find out ways to still make money off of people, even if private relay is a thing that uh, that they don't they can't work yeah. around. So sure.